How many people look sideways instead of looking what's in front of you? I've noticed that a lot lately. Instead of looking what's in looking what's ahead, we look out to see what's beyond our reach. The problem with that is we never know what we can accomplish. It's always a vision, people. It's always a vision, just like this. You know? It's a beautiful, beautiful vision. But the problem with visions is that they always stay flat. They always stay distant. And sometimes Sometimes they always stay the same. Sometimes they even stay dirty. And if we achieve or if we try and if we try and stay dirty we become stagnant we become stagnant people you know the goal in life is to change it really is it's to it's to look around us to look around us and some people are afraid of that I used to be I used to be I really think so now I want to talk to you for a minute here and I promise this is not going to be a speech in fact I I remember I remember why I came out here You know, we have a motivational period in our lives. We have a we have a motivation to help each other. Some of us do at least. We try and build something together. Right? I mean, don't we? Everything starts with a foundation. Know that word foundation, community, just like football. You got to know the word foot before you attempt to kick the ball. And look at this wood up here. Doesn't it remind you of the ground? You know, before the television industry came around, people enjoyed their time outside. People enjoyed coming together outside. They really did. People educated themselves. People spent time with their families. People appreciated art and beauty and color and before color came about on television people all we could see is blurred lines and take the word of audio just like you and me
in a sense, in a sense, even though we have color now, we still see blurred lines on television, people. Just not in the same photography like. I'm not going to ask you if you understand what I mean because. Because, you know, it's my job to make sure that you do understand what we need, what we motivate our young kids to understand. Frankly, frankly, that's what we should be doing. We should be doing. And right now, even though this may be a long-winded conversation, this is actually a motivational speech, a motivational trailer for you to step outside your comfort zone, feel the feel the ble feel, feel the breeze, feel the the beauty all around you. Because life is what you make it. Life is what you make it. You know, as long as we're living, we're still okay. And some people, some people believe that the world is not a good place. Apparently, they're caught up in their own problems. They don't understand the truth. And the truth of the matter is very simple. They haven't found resolution. And if they haven't li found resolution by now, it's either up to us to guide them or to guide their kids. And I'm speaking on behalf of my, my media, my documentaries, my organization, which always goes through trials and tribulations because apparently apparently our programming is in jeopardy because somebody is always trying to outrun our business because business feeds business competition feeds competition because everybody's trying to be like the same way and that's how one never gets ahead and so the doc the, the 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 way to be a creative professional is to reach out to people who have the same interests in helping each other. And the way to show you how to be creative is to network and support people. Who are like-minded now you may look at this video and see this as a nature scope you may see me as a uh, as a as a human being I believe that that might be true I think, I think of everything in color as artwork, because the last thing we need is another person believing in darkness. 
And I also want to mention a couple other subjects in this letter to our youth. The letter to our youth is this. It's up to us as mature adults to take a to take a uh, to take a stand against against the as the Star Wars emperor would say it the weak-minded and I want to talk to you about what it is to be weak-minded and what it is to be strong the founding the foundation for the letter to the to the youth is to be is to be a is to be emotionally, psychologically, intellectually, and physically strong for our community. You don't find that every day. In fact, if I had to make an unofficial wager, you wouldn't even find that with half the adults anymore. This is this is because in my opinion, this is because we are trying to outrun each other. And instead of instead of telling our stories in a video, we have a short attention span. And I want to ask you something. What is the purpose here of ta of having a short attention span? I'm not here to have a short attention span. Although I might be although I might be having one as an effect of life, as an effect of others judging me. I'm here to live my life to the fullest. How about you? Now, one of the things I've done many times is proven the media as an asset. And just this video alone shows the strengthening capabilities of how video can profound somebody else. We can tell our stories through video. We can tell our stories through communication. Communication is the most essential form of expression. If you were to write a letter to yourself, you would be taking the most basic step of goal driving. And see, most people in my life do not know that I do not write down my goals. I speak them. And I speak them spontaneously. And this is a problem for them. Now why am I telling you this, everybody? Why am I telling you this? To make you think more? Probably. But I'm hoping it will resonate with other people. Why do you think I have an asset of television? Why do you think I have an asset of live, unedited, unedited, uh, um, scripts. It's because I have such confidence in myself that I can make a difference for others. People, we don't have that anymore because of negativity on the media. And if we knew what the world was going to come to in the future, 
we probably would have saved lives beforehand. So, if I wanted to say to you what the point of this summation was, we are campaigning, we are campaigning that not only just for the asset of of a potential nonprofit organization which which was um, which was initiated two years ago and we're reinitiating it again but we're petitioning for a fundraiser for individual individual effort and let me tell you something about worth because in order to know about worth you have to know yourself and you know have to know how to tell a story a powerful story in order to in order to know in order to know who your audience is your audience can be everybody if you know how to direct to mass crowds if you know how to speak in the right in the right cue. If you know how to speak to the right direction. That is how you become great. That is how you become respected by mass crowds. You know, there's a lot of naysayers anymore that say not everyone is your audience. I disagree with them. You know why? Because there are such people as world-renowned speakers. Now, I also want to mention to you about having an inner voice. Because a lot of people don't know about having an inner voice. An inner voice is where you know what's inside of you and it comes out through your lungs and your mouth. An inner voice is what's connected to your heart. An inner voice is where you recognize your talents and you spread the message through communication. It is. Now all these talents, all these qualities, everybody, pay attention, are worth something to you. If not anybody else, it's worth something to you. The topics on the topics on television such as mass murders such as breaking stories, such as political organizations and corruption, they're not worth hardly anything. They're not worth your attention. But in, in effect, they're getting all the popularity in the world. That's why I want you to understand that I want to make sure you know the popularity is overrated. Just like some sometimes in an intellectual movie, someone would quote that being normal is overrated if they were trying to fall in love with somebody else who has a mental disorder. And I want you to think for a minute, because the reason I'm talking to you about this is not because I'm an expert, although people like to think of me as an expert. I have no credentials. I have no credentials at all. I'm just a, I'm just a college, I'm just a college student who did not even attend uh, who did not even get a get a degree okay but what i am is a self-employed individual just like you and me 
And what we're knowing as worth is being confused with, how should I say this? What we're knowing is worth is trying to climb a financial ladder. So think about yourself lost in a forest like you are right now. Think about yourself trying to swing from one rope. Imagine yourself on that vine and you're trying to swing from one rope to the lake. Pretty hard to do, right? But if you were go if you were to go down with me, just walk down to this lake with me. Just take a couple steps with me. See how easy that is? Okay. Pretend that's your worth and pretend that's actually somebody guiding you in a coaching session. Pretend that's somebody handing you money because all you're doing is telling your story and inspiring somebody. That's the difference between being authentic and putting on a cover. And that's what that's what that's what media fails to realize anymore. People who make up stories, people who fit, who put on dramatic pictures and over exaggerate people with with content and with excessive violence and with excessive grotesque unre incomprehensible and reprehensive content are putting on a cover for what Hollywood wants to show them. And I want you to understand how we are different. We are different because we support the community. We support the education of people mainly teens who need the who need to understand the difference between truth and fiction and if we get a couple of people or a couple of crowds who block us so be it but we appeal with hopes of bettering the mass public. Because it feels like to me as the founder, the mass public is not all that informed. The mass public is not informed. And the mission of this letter in this interview is to start informing them start informing them and redirecting funds back to the people that deserve it and I'm not pointing at me I'm pointing basically to you guys our nonprofit our mission Our mission is to inform the public through filmmaking, through music production, through through dedicating everything towards protecting our kids. I ask you to join me. I want to talk to you one more thing. 
structure is not always a is not always a good thing how you handle decisions is the best thing you can always do if we can if we can manage decisions better in a general aspect we can be a coach for the better to everybody I don't believe that it's ever been done before because nobody in my in my experience has believed that funds as high as I'm asking for is achievable. And my goal is not even to serve me best. My goal is not even to serve me best because I want you to understand something here. I said throughout this whole story and I got shot down many times because it's a it's a system it's a system of mass reach. But listen to what I just said. It's a system of mass reach. Mass reaching means grasping towards the public. A system, on the other hand, is a structure. We are at a time now where we have to reach to the sky and ask ourselves, why are we in charge? How are we potentially in charge? And what are we trying to achieve? Because we have always, always identified with these problems. We got to make people aware of what the problems are. We got to start using our heads. We do. You know, and I'm not going to repeat what the what the problems are because that is that is part of our education right now. And this is a trailer, people. This is an interview with me. You know, if you really want the services that I provide, you know, start paying. Start paying. Join the join them. Join the movement. Join the movement. Make our jobs easier. You know, this is probably something you've never heard before because nobody has ever talked to you this way. But, you know, it's time to, it's time to get our head on straight. It's time to make a difference. It's time to start protecting our kids. And this isn't even about my nonprofit anymore yet. Okay? But the difference between a for profit and a social cause and a nonprofit, a for profit is for money, a social cause is about creating new opportunities. For social causes. A nonprofit, just so you know, because I've researched, is not about creating money, but creating creating better change. You know, it's amazing how much experience I've learned for na for no money at all. It's amazing how much experience I've learned as an artist, as a video producer, as an editor, as everything I've done, everything I've survived. And the hardest thing about it, the hardest thing about this, 
is that I used to think I'm worthless. I don't. I don't think I'm worthless anymore. But people, you gotta start thinking you're not worthless anymore either. And part of knowing that you're not worthless is looking inside yourself and demanding people pay you. This is not to be associated with greed. But you got to demand people pay you. You got to raise your expectations because it is not okay to go without. I could go on a whole story about going without. In fact, that's what I might do in my in my campaign. But the focus of this trailer is to deliver a message about introducing introducing the movement. The movement is it's kind of cold out here. The movement is how to avoid the coldness, the bitterness of life and the consequences of people not caring about anybody. And it seems, like I said, that media has given us a false impression because it's all pumped up full of money. It's all pumped up full of false impressions in their content. And it's giving people, especially younger viewers, a false impression of reality and it's affecting their brains now what are we gonna do about it with a couple of competent people joining this movement we're gonna take away their funding and we're gonna invest it in something else hopefully my nonprofit called substitute substandards Inc which means to change the standards, to rearrange kids' lives, to rearrange the media, and to make our own television station. It supports, no, you know, this was the intent to do from the very beginning. But when things go south, we have to change our plans. We don't give up. And one of my flaws in the beginning was, but I want you to understand, want you to understand everybody that when you don't believe in what you can accomplish, it won't happen. So I think you've seen a lot of what I have to say. Let's make things happen. And let, let's make things happen today. Thank you.